Here's to the day which is the oldest I've been and youngest I could ever be again. The day for me to cut yet another round cake lit with candles of numbers of my age that resembles the moon, which is a proof of immortality destined for eternity. I want to be like the moon. I cannot be immortal, I know, but I want my impact to the world to live for eternity. I want to be like the candle slid on the cake that symbolizes the light of life. I might not be diamond that dazzles the eyes, but I want to be the light that imparts clarity. Even when it blows out, the smoke it leaves behind carries to God the silent wishes, prayers, and thought. I want to be like the birthday balloon that drifts away with independence. It shrinks or gets burst, that's inevitable, but you know what? It flies. It flies above and higher, getting rid of all the negativities that weighs it down. It flies from the dusk till down. I want to be like the glitters, the colored papers, the beautiful tablecloths that makes everything look amazing and beautiful. For I want the people to unfold the blindfold, to see the beauty of the world. I want the people to stop racing for a while, to hold on and take a deep breath and appreciate the beauty of this beautifully decorated world. I want to sail on all boats together. I know I cannot step on all boats, but I want to tie them together into a knot of my ambition. I do not want to be limited in a box. I want to jump onto different boxes, the boxes whose doors are always open for me to enter and to leave. For my ambition has no boundaries, no stereotypes, because there's one life and thousands of opportunities for thousands of goals to achieve. Every birthdays are reminders of out of total years, we are at loss of one more year. So let's learn to celebrate life, because all of us who are alive knows how to exist. Let's make our life sweeter than the cake, brighter than the brightest candle, lighter than the balloon, wonderful and beautiful beyond imagination. So that when we sit down to think and write about our life, we'd have no regrets, no ifs, no buts. Instead, we'd create a masterpiece of our own.